Hello, good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know. And I did not have plans to make a video today and then I was like, you know what? I got some fun things to do. By fun, they're fun for me. I don't know if they'll be fun for you to watch, but every time I ask for more video ideas, you guys say like, please just a normal day in the life. Like even if you think it's boring, we like to watch it. So your wish is my command. This may be boring, but blame the people they asked for it. So I'm just gonna take you along for the day. First off though, I just got an exciting package. Literally ran down to the mailbox because they DM me and they were like, hey, your package should be there, did you get it? And I was like, let me go check. Um, Justin is currently downstairs with the guy from Facebook Marketplace who bought our coffee table and entertainment stand. So that's awesome. So we got that out of the apartment. The dishwasher is going right now, so it's very loud. Oh my God, these are so cute. Okay, so I actually reached out to them because I came across their hats and I was like, these are the cutest things ever. So it's called, oh my God, this is beautiful. So they're called essential hats on Instagram. I'll leave their like Instagram on the screen right here. And they let me pick out two hats. This is beautiful. So it's like this Dior bucket hat and it's like a monochrome, but it has like the Dior print all the way around. I love this, wow. And then the second one is this like, wow, this is like heavy dude. This is a good quality. I don't know how they do this or where they do it from, but like this Chanel like knitted kind of hat. Also a big fan. These are so cute. I can't wait to show Justin. He needs to hurry up and come up. I actually plan on doing a beach day tomorrow and this might be coming with me because this is beautiful. Wow, okay, I'm obsessed with this one. Um, okay. I don't know what, I just wanted to start the video to show you these. There's nothing currently happening. I'm drinking my iced coffee. We're hanging out. But the second something does happen, which I have a lot planned, I just will probably have like a little bit of a lazy morning because we've been doing so much. I worked all day yesterday with like editing videos and getting other stuff done. So I'll probably relax a little bit and then we'll pick up the camera to do fun things. Also, I slept like this. Look how cute this is. Oh shit, super right? nice. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I slept like this, which is why my hair looks like this. I really don't want to wash it today, so we're going to have to try to salvage it because this is rough. So, I may or may not have just spent $250 on Amazon decor, but I'm really impatient. I really hate that these little shelf things are still empty, and I feel like it needed something. So, we got... First thing is I've wanted these like designer coffee table books for a while, so I got a Chanel one a Dior one or Louis Vuitton one because the like book end of this one is black and then gray and white so it like literally matches perfect so that I think is gonna go in like the middle shelf and maybe like two things on each side I don't know we got to figure that out then we got this little like I don't even know what this is um like this little bowl with these black balls <laughs> I don't know like it looks mature and that's kind of the vibe I'm going for I want it to look like an interior designer who knew what they were doing kind of styled those shelves things is that the case? Clearly not at all because I have no idea what that is or what it's even going to look like. But I think it like matches the vibe. So we got that and then on the other shelf I think is going to go these little like black and white chains and then in that this like gray tray thing. I, huh, you'll have to stay tuned. I think everything's coming Friday which is in like two days so that's coming very soon. Um, I don't know. I'll show you in like probably the next vlog to be honest of how that's going but Overall consensus of the coffee table and the entertainment stand so far, absolutely love it. We love the white, it brightens it up so much. We still need to switch out these pillows because now that we got these ones, which I love, they're so comfy. Um, we got these from Home Goods, but they're black and it kind of dolls down the couch. And then that, that stuff is all white. So that's why we're getting like the decor, the black to tie that in. And then we need something on the couch since the couch is gray and the pillows are black to like tie in the white of everything else. So maybe we're thinking just like a white throw blanket I think it's a plan, but anyway, the plan for today is to fix these bad boys. So I've been continuously getting my nails done for like probably a year and a half at this point and kind of over it. I spent like literally $90 on these. They broke the top coats fading. Like I it's just, it's not necessarily a waste of money and I'll probably continue to go back and get them done. But for the current state, I don't want to go to the nail salon. So I think I have a couple packets or like packages of the press on nails and I used those before and I love them and they lasted me a while. But the reason why we're in this debacle is because it is currently June 22nd, 
we leave to go home for like three weeks july 12th so these are so bad and they need fixed but i don't have time to get my nails done now and then get them done again before i go like home and on vacation and everything so i'd rather just use press-ons for the time being we can even switch them up do something fun and then i'll get my nails done again right before i go home for those three weeks so i don't have to worry about it so i'm gonna go see which ones i actually have here i i don't know if they're the vibe that i want for right now but I also have to drop a Depop package off at the post office, which is in the same plaza as Walgreens. So we'll probably also go to Walgreens because I feel like we just need the, um, some items to like, why items? What's the word I'm looking for? We need to pick up some stuff to like safely take these off my nail as well. I need like cotton balls. I'm out of my like strictly acetone, um, nail polish remover. So I need to get that, probably a better nail file, and then just a few other little things from Walgreens. So I guess first thing is let's see what press-on nails I actually have to see if we want to use those. But I think the ones I have are like pink and blue. I think that's the only pack I have. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I have these ones, which are cute, but not the vibe I'm going for. They are summery. I just don't think it's what I want. And then I have these two also, but this one is half used. And these I think are gonna be too short because these are all like my natural nails. So when the dip powder comes off of them, I'm gonna have long nails. So I feel like I need to get more that are, that might even be too short. I mean, I'm definitely gonna probably try to cut and file my nails down, but we need to go to Walgreens, pick up some new ones in at least the like medium length. But I also think, I want to get like a, a neutral classy kind of look like either like a pearly color or I don't know we got to figure it out but I need to get the Depot package all like packaged up and ready to go I need to go to the clubhouse to print out the shipping label put that on go to the post office and then we'll go to Walgreens I love when I vlog because I just like have a friend to talk to and that friend is you guys and I just tell you every little detail that you really don't care to know but without that i would just not be talking to anyone i'd probably talk to cloud and tell them everything so let's i don't know do i just go like this i look kind of crazy but like who really cares right i'm also probably gonna sweat actually so maybe not maybe we'll actually change oh my god okay so i just changed in a comfy little like crop tank and sweatpants but i think the sweatpants might have been a mistake because it is 92 degrees right now i am dying Got the package, all good, ready to ship off for Depop. I'm dying, okay, I need to blast the air. And luckily, we only have to drive like literally five minutes down the road. These ones could be fun, actually. We'll add those. And then I'm thinking maybe just get like this plain one and even that, just like the color itself is fine. Or I could just like get a polish over it possibly, but I think we're good between those two. I made it back home, ended up getting way more than I expected. So I got the cotton balls because I plan on doing the like soaking these in acetone and then putting aluminum foil on all my fingers to let the dip and gel and everything soak off. And then for nails, I ended up going back and getting a few more. So I got these ones, which I'm assuming this is probably what I'm gonna end up using because it's still neutral, it's fun, it'll match a lot. But just in case, you know, like I needed one, in a certain like nail size and they didn't have it in that color. Got two packs just to be safe. Then I also got these ones because like I said, I just wanted kind of like a neutral one as well. So I have those, but both of those ones come with the glue and the last time I did press on nails and they lasted literally like three weeks was with like the adhesive tabs. So had to get another pair just for the adhesive tabs. So, I mean, I do like this purple, just not for this current moment, but these ones come with the tabs, so I plan on using those to actually stick them on. But for the neutral one, I got like a little shiny white top coat to make it more of like a pearly color. If I end up using those, I don't know. I don't know which ones I want, but I um, also got a spray bottle because I just don't own one and I needed one, so that has nothing to do with nails. I just need that. Got a little buffer and then I ended up going with this nail file because I feel like sometimes when they're colored, it like bleeds onto the nail. And if I do the more like neutral one, I obviously don't want a bright color on the nail. And last thing is acetone. So I think the first step is going to be, I'm gonna try to file off as much as I can, just like off the top. And then we gotta go through and do the whole like soak the cotton ball, put aluminum foil on. And then I feel like I'm stuck at that moment. I just gotta sit there and wait until it comes off. 
Um, I don't know. Anything to fix these, though. Look at this middle nail. On both fingers. My middle finger. Why does it look like that? Yeah, they're super grown out. They're super bad. And all of this was still way cheaper than even one set of nails. So not too mad about it. We have long... Oh, these all only say seven-day wear. I mean, that's fine. I guess I'll, like, switch them off. I definitely, like, used them before, and they lasted literally three weeks. Maybe they say seven days, so that way, if they don't last as long, like, you'd be super mad. But if they last longer than seven days, no one's going to get mad that they're better quality than they said. So, that's probably why they did it that way. Um, okay, I think we're going to put on the Pretty Basic Podcast on my TV because I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to really, like, click through the remote. So, that'll probably be, like, a solid hour of something to put on while we start doing this. Okay, so we at least made it to this step. This is really hard to do on your own though, because now I feel like trying to do them after I put them on, now they're like all loose and falling off and I feel like that defeats the whole purpose. But like when I go to tighten one, now this one's about to fall off and then I'll go to tighten this one and now this one's about to fall off and it's just like a repeating game. So we're gonna try to keep this on, I don't know, like 15 minutes maybe. And if this doesn't work, I might do what they just do at the salon where you like put a paper towel in a bowl with acetone. You just kind of like start to like wipe away at it as it sits in there. I don't know. I feel like that would probably take longer than this, but I don't necessarily know if I did this right. The only thing I'm worried about, I'm not like too short on time, except I really can't even use my phone right now. Hello? 314, I don't have to leave here till six. So we have the time to get this done. But I also had other things that I wanted to get done today but I literally can't do those currently in this moment with my hands looking like this. I don't remember what, it was like three something the last time I talked to you, it's now 407. All of my like aluminum foil nails got way too loose and I feel like they weren't doing anything. So I ripped them all off, tried to soak my fingers in a bowl of acetone. The bowl I used was too big. So I threw a paper towel in there like they do at the salon. The paper towel absorbs up all the acetone. I sat here and I like picked and just filed and tried to like scrape off as much as I could. I feel like I do still have some dip products still on my nails. Do I care? No, at this moment, not at all. It's been taking too long. So I'm gonna see if I need to cut down my nails in order to wear the like medium sized. Okay, I ended up using the nail glue because I got worried like if these nails came with the nail glue, maybe there's a reason for that. Um, so we have one hand done. I do really like them. I haven't had coffin nails in a while. I kept doing almond, but I really like them. I have nail glue literally everywhere though. And like you kind of see it on the outside and I don't know how to get that off. I'm going to look that up because I don't want to do acetone and then it takes off like the nail polish of the nail or whatever. But one hand done. These are at least going to for sure last for tomorrow, I believe. I really like them. I do. Okay. I was giving them, I was giving them a hard chance at first, but so far so good. We're going to do, I did my like bad hand first. So now I get to use my right hand to do my left hand. So when I tell you the mountain of nail glue on this finger. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, almost there, let's go. Okay, honestly, besides me doing a terrible application, having nail glue literally, at, like when I say everywhere, like it's literally everywhere, the nails themselves are so cute. And like, you cannot tell that those are press-ons. I'm impressed. That looks pretty good. Um, we'll see how long they last. I'll keep you guys updated, but pretty happy with those um cloud has a ton of energy right now so we're gonna go for a little walk i'm definitely putting shorts on though because it is way too hot and then i really need to fix this because it just looks like i literally slept on it they look crazy but i wanted to oh, i had so much more planned for today it's already like five o'clock and i have to leave for the gym at six and i have checked one thing off my list those took so long oh my goodness i mean i'm happy with them and i like them a lot and i'm glad i did it and it needed to be done but that just took longer than anticipated but that's okay first thing you want to go for a walk let's go it is so unbelievably hot outside and i always like when i first moved into a, an apartment because it was so new to me i was like i could not imagine like how do families live here i don't get it but now, like, every time I go to Walk Cloud, like, there was a whole, like, Nerf gun league happening. Like, imagine just living in the same neighborhood as so many kids. Like, I'm not going to do it. You guys know I hate, not hate this apartment, but, like, I'm so over it already. But, like, Loki would kind of be fun. Like, I had one neighbor growing up that I was friends with, and, like, literally that was it. So imagine having so many kids to choose from. 
Also, that's what's stressful about like house hunting too is I, we actually, Justin and I talk about this a lot that we both are like so fond of our childhood and like in a few years, okay, well, a little over a few years, it's gonna be our job to like raise kids in that childhood, if not like an even better childhood. But like, we're gonna be the ones to determine that. And a huge factor of that, like Justin's best friends still to this day are like the kids he grew up with and like specifically his next door neighbor literally then moved down to Florida and they're like best friends, they hang out, oh my God, my hair, hang out all the time and they're still like literally best, best friends. And I'm like, that's so like kind of stressful because I feel like lately I've selfishly just been looking for a house that like we like, I like, like I like the style, pool, location, whatever. But like neighborhood plays a huge part in that. Like what if my kids don't have fun neighbors? That's gonna suck. Like they're not gonna have the same childhood I did. That's gonna be so sad. But like, how do you, well, I'm just gonna go house hunting. I'm gonna knock on every door in the neighborhood and be like, hey, do you have kids? When are you planning on having kids? What's your life like? Are your kids gonna be fun? Like how do I determine that? I just have to like take that risk and hope I get lucky. But that is so stressful. Anyway, that was my rant while I took out my braids because I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do my hair. So I might, oh dear God. I might just need to like rebraid my hair a little better and maybe put it back in a bun, but did warm up my chocolate croissant. I'm gonna eat that as a snack. I think I'm gonna try to like chill for 10 minutes because I feel a little overwhelmed currently considering I had so much on the to-do list today and got just about none of it done. I do have pretty nails though. Um, they're very like Easter-like, but I think especially for tomorrow on the beach and like I'm gonna have so many different bathing suits that they're gonna match with pretty much everything. So we have to wear like kind of like assigned shirts each day to the gym now, which in theory is nice because I don't have to worry about what the heck I'm wearing because it's already picked out for me. However, the Tuesday and Wednesday shirts, which this one is the Wednesday shirt, are so thick and the gym is like extra, extra hot this year. I don't know why it's so bad because it hasn't even been like, I mean, okay, just kidding. It's like extremely hot outside. Um, I think I hate the hair. I did the bun first and the bun was not giving. I looked like, I don't know. It just wasn't it. So we went for the ponytail and I also used my phone to see what the back of my head looks like and it doesn't look good. But you know what? The back of my head is not my business cause I don't have to look at it. I'm also only at the gym literally for an hour and a half today. So it's fine. We'll make it work. I don't have time to fix it. So we just gotta deal with it. I need to, Put my Apple Watch on. And tonight is Senior 2 practice, which I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to vlog practices yet. It's so early in the season that like, granted we have a lot of returners on Senior 2, so it's like a lot of the kids that I fully completely know already. And obviously like they love the vlogs and they are probably watching this. They're probably gonna be mad that I'm vlogging today on Senior 2 day and I don't vlog. Maybe I'll get like a little intro clip or like some of them saying hi, I don't know, but. It is 5.59 right now. I start practice at 6.30, so I'm about to walk out the door. I get there a little bit early and just hang out, and then I have to knock everything off my to-do list tonight, I guess, when we get home, because I got nothing done. It is so hot outside, which means it's gonna be so hot in the gym. Also, ignore this. I don't know where the heck this thing decided to come from, but it is living rent-free all over my face. But anyway, um, I am gym I always FaceTime my mom and my sister on the way so I'm gonna do that and then I guess I'll see you when we get there I didn't record anything but they had a great practice so normally I'm the one that like records the videos but Chris was recording videos today so I like wasn't by my phone at all the whole practice which meant I didn't get footage of them at all but that's okay we'll do a whole nother dedicated video to like meeting them and coaching them and whatnot today was just a normal little vlog vlog because that's what you guys asked for so it's 8 29 it is a lot later than i wanted to leave the gym but i'm just having some convos having a good time um justin is done literally in a minute so he'll be home soon but it's my night to cook dinner because he cooked the last like three nights so i need a shower not wash my hair but i need to still figure out that hair situation tonight because doing a full like content beach day tomorrow like i said and this is not gonna cut it although i do have a lot of hats packed for pictures well i don't have anything packed yet that's another thing we need to do but shower first and then i picked up these kebabs from publix because i just walked down like every aisle and i was like what looks good for dinner and i picked up these bad boys and i was like those look really good for dinner now do we have a grill no 
Um, I kind of have a fear of the broiler and that was like the other way it says to do it because one time when I was younger, my dad was making french fries in the broiler and the entire oven caught on fire. So now I have PTSD. So instead of that, I think I'm gonna disassemble the kebabs. So the whole idea of the kebab is gonna go bye-bye. I'm gonna disassemble them and just like cook it in a pan and then maybe we'll put it back on a stick to give it the kebab feel, but I just feel like that's the best, safest way to do it. I wish, I don't think this would fit in my air fryer or else I could do that too, but whatever. We're gonna make kebabs and mashed potatoes for dinner. I really wanna be better and today's like my first trial at it of just like, more casual day in the life vlogs. I feel like I'm always so stressed out about like what the concept is or what the title is gonna be or like basically like what the structure of the video is gonna be. But I feel like the whole point of a vlog is that it doesn't have to have structure. Like you're just following along on my day. And what really sparked this is I was watching, well her name used to be Rachel Radke and then she got married and I don't wanna butcher the last name. So I'm just gonna say that her name used to be Rachel Radke because I don't wanna say it wrong. But I was watching her vlogs and they're just, I love putting them on in the background while I'm doing stuff because they're just so calming because she just like does really long clips. She might not even be like talking to the camera. She'd be like talking to her husband or talking to her friend and she just like leaves the clip rolling and just like vlogs the random stuff of her day. And I want to get better at that. Like I just want to vlog my day instead of trying to curate my day around the vlog, if that makes sense. Like obviously today didn't go as planned. It took me so long to do these nails and I almost stopped vlogging and I was like whatever we'll just try to do this another day like I don't really like where this video is going this isn't how I expected it to go but like okay who cares you guys tell me all the time that you want to see the vlogs of just like a day in the life and that is what you're getting today so I also anytime I leave in like really long clips instead of cutting them I feel like old YouTube style used to be like you would have to cut out all the long pauses and just make like short cuts but now people want to just like almost act as if like they're hanging out with me like the long clips I put in so I always get comments that are like I love the way this video went because I felt like I was just like hanging out chilling with you having some girl time and I'm like I want to do more of that so we're working on it I also think because of that I'll be able to be way more consistent if I'm literally just vlogging my day instead of worrying about like oh my god I need to do this this and this and I need to have such a busy day and I'm going to plan all of this on one day to vlog Obviously, it's a little bit harder and a lot of it harder, and this goes back to me not wanting to be at the gym every day this year, but obviously that's not the case because, like, I only have my day up until, like, 5, 6 p.m. to really, like, do stuff where I can't just take you through, like, my entire day because my days get kind of repetitive because I'm at the gym from, like, 6 to 8 or 6 to 10 every night. So it is a lot harder, and I kind of envy those that have the freedom of, like, an everyday and I don't know, but I feel like I'm just making excuses for myself instead of trying to find a solution for it. Cloud is definitely hungry, so while that is all going, I need to start the mashed potatoes soon. Actually, let's start melting the butter in this pan. I'm gonna get Cloud some food. It would look so much better as kebabs, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Dinner was great, and now it is time to be productive. So we went to, well, we went to Home Goods the other day, found absolutely nothing for decor except those pillows, but. We had to get a gift card and the line was long. So like we were not gonna wait in line just for the pillows. So we picked up a few things from the, like the TJ Maxx side of it. So I got this cute little hat. It says Radiate Love in super cute colors. Definitely gonna bring this to the beach tomorrow. I'm gonna try to pick out a bikini that matches to wear that. And then I got this shirt, which I'm definitely bringing to the beach tomorrow. I love this. I got it in a medium, I think. So it's like a little oversized. Yes, I got it in a medium and I don't even know what it says. Cosmic Dreamer on the back with like a whole bunch of colors, but I think it'll just be a really cute like beach cover up shirt moment. Really like the colors in it and it's it's a lot going on, but the shirts I got, I got to match my new shoes, which are the like orange paisley dunks that I showed. But then I got this shirt, I got, Justin got the same shirt because we have, he has the Syracuse dunks and then I have the orange paisley one. So basically the same thing, slightly different. So we got the same shirt. We're not gonna wear it at the same time, but I wanted to get, I don't really own hardly anything orange, so I wanted to get stuff that I could actually wear the shoes with. So we got those, and I guess while we're at it, I'll do more of a clothing haul because I also have my Revolve order, and I am so extremely blessed that I am a Revolve ambassador, so I get to work with them 
on like a monthly basis. I get to pick out a few pieces and they get to send them. Obviously I ship them off. And I'm debating on, you know what, actually? Mm-hmm, could be doable, I don't know. This bathing suit that I got, I absolutely love. It's like very different from anything that I own. It is from the brand Tularosa, and it's like a, almost a gray, like baby blue gray color with the white trimming and the matching bottoms. I got this top from Lovers and Friends on Revolve. Also, I'm gonna have all of this linked in my Revolve favorites. I need to update that actually, but I'll do that before this video goes up. But I'll have all of this and my past couple orders all linked in my Revolve favorites if you wanna shop. But this green top, I was just trying to get more colors for summer and everything and for Hawaii. Have I talked about that yet? I feel like I've not talked about that on a video, but we have officially booked our Hawaii trip. We're going to Oahu in September, which I seriously cannot wait. So I got a couple pieces in keeping that in mind. Oh, this is so cute. I forgot I got this. Okay, this is from Super Down, which if you've never shopped on Revolve, oh, but I forgot these bottoms are big. I might need to fix these or maybe we'll save this bikini for another day because the bottoms are big and I need to like cut and tie them. But anyway, if you've never shopped on Revolve, Super Down is one of the more affordable brands. So I love picking up pizzas from there because I feel like I obviously understand that Revolve gets pretty pricey. So at least Super Down, that TV is so loud, <laughs> but at least Super Down is a little bit more affordable so that I like enjoy linking those pieces a lot more. But Super cute bandeau bikini. I love the way the top fits. I just need to fix the bottoms. They're a little big, but. Then I picked up this little, like, technically it's a workout set. I probably won't wear it working out. I'll wear it more like athleisure and just wearing around. Okay, I just turned it inside out. But it's from the brand Well Being Being Well. And these little, like, not so much biker shorts, just like spandexy shorts. And the matching sports bra, which I really want to get a cute. I mean, I guess I have a bunch of like cute matching sets, but I don't know, I kind of want, I've been looking at some Amazon workout sets. I want to get like a really fun, bright colored one for like going on hikes in Hawaii. Cause I think that would just like match the aesthetic and the vibe. And obviously I know it's going to be like super hot. So I don't want to be in something uncomfortable. I'd rather just be in a workout set, but a cute one. Then I guess my color has just been orange lately. I picked up this bikini from the brand. Lovers and Friends, I have a decent amount of bathing suits from them, but it's just like an orange, reddish and yellow kind of like color scheme. Like the fit of it and the bottoms are also different than just like normal bottoms. They have like little cinching and the ties on the side. Super cute, loved that one on, actually it fit really well. And then speaking of orange, I got an orange two piece set. This one's from Lovers and Friends as well. It's like a knitted pair of pants that goes down to kind of like a flare leg. This, again, probably for Hawaii. I was shopping for, I was shopping a little bit in advance because not going for a while, but this stuff was just super cute. But this is the matching top to it, super beachy. Love the color and everything. And then this dress I got and it, I just don't, I like it, I just don't love the way it fits on. Just the sleeves are throwing me off and I don't know if I want to try to like DIY it. I think I would like it a lot better in just like a tank top version. Just, it has like these puffy sleeves that just didn't look the best on me, but I love the cut of everything else. Like I wish it was just like this, which is like a tank top. And then it has the little ring and then it goes down to like, just like a flowy white dress. And I love everything else about it, but the sleeves are throwing me off. I also got a pair of shoes and I don't remember what these are. Oh yeah. I needed a new pair of like dressy white baby heels because the ones that I brought to the Bahamas were killing my feet and they were not comfortable. So these ones seem to be comfortable so far, so good. Now, what of that do I wanna pack? I have like eight, I think, different sets of picture ideas in mind. Okay, I think we have just about everything laid out. I think I'm gonna start in this one for the actual sunrise. I'm hoping it'll be pretty. The sunset was pretty tonight, so I'm praying we'll have some nice pretty colors in the morning, so like the rainbow suit will just kind of match it. Then we have this bikini from Triangle. These glasses are from Amazon. Cloth flower clips are always from Amazon. All my Amazon essentials are also always linked down below. The TJ Maxx hat with white fox yellow bikini. And these sunglasses, I believe, are Princess Polly. We have a cute little dog keeping me company over here. Then with the TJ Maxx shirt, which I'm loving even more as it's laid out around all these bikinis and like all the fun colors. 
have the revolve suit i just feel like it goes super well with the colors some orange sunglasses from amazon then i have this shirt which i believe is revolve but i think it's the brand lpa from a few years ago i don't know if they still have it but it's one of my favorite bathing suit cover-ups i think it's so cute with the little like flower details bathing suit is tula rosa from revolve and i love the details going down the back of like the beads but it kind of gives it like that pearl looking effect i love it um the bottoms are a little big but i'm hoping we can make it work new amazon glasses again the claw clip the greens kind of don't match fully but they'll be separated so hoping it comes together black bow a bikini here i just have black amazon sunglasses to go with that then i don't, I don't know the vibe these are going to be like my swimming pictures i think I don't know necessarily if we're gonna go in in probably honestly it's gonna be so hot so i'm also bringing the mask because that could be cute to go with the pictures then we have this triangle bikini which i feel like is made for this dior hat i think this is so like classy and elegant together i'm very excited to wear these in these pictures i need to get some jewelry out for that as well i ended up choosing to listen to a podcast instead of a youtube video and i'm listening to the Alice podcast like Alice from Twilight she does like a Twilight Effect podcast and they're doing an Eclipse rewatch right now so much and I love it I love her ended up just blow drying it out with the normal like straightening brush but like hair looks almost freshly washed that was a, a nice little hair hack for it also look at how long and healthy it's getting again oh, I love it it is honestly probably the healthiest it's been since I died at Platinum um, I do have a ton of dry shampoo in right now, but maybe when I'm home in July, I might have, like, my mom's friend that, like, touches up my hair. Do it again. When did I just get it done, though? No, that was, like, what? May? Beginning of May? Maybe I don't need it yet. I don't know. We'll see. But last thing I'm going to pack is, I know if I don't get it out right now, I'm going to forget. Um, I want to pack makeup because I'm going to want to cover that bad boy up in the morning and probably put mascara on and i think that's pretty much everything it is 11 10. we did pretty good on time i have nothing else to do but lay down we'll have to like get ready for bed and then just go to sleep so i think i'm just gonna end this video here i really want to do more of these we were just talking about it too that we want to do more for like our channel we want to do more of these just like authentic let's pick up the camera let's just film without like really having to do so much like planning and prepping before so hopefully this is going to continue hopefully we're going to get better at it hopefully this wasn't too boring um let me know down below if you have any suggestions or i don't know if you enjoyed it or what you want to see more i don't know but let me know so hope you enjoyed make sure to give this video a big like comment down below subscribe to your post notifications on all that we we're almost at 200k subscribers which is crazy so if you watch these and you're not subscribed, you should just like go ahead and hit that button. Help us out. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video.